So guys, now we're going to make another comparison between cheap Chinese phone, cost about 150 pounds, and not that cheap Korean phone, costs about 400 and something. So this is the Galaxy S6 Edge version, running Android Marshmallow 601. This is the Xiaomi Redmi Note 3, running Android Wallipop version 502, quite old. Uh, let's start. Now we're going to compare the way you set and use your finger as unlock password or security. So how do it on the Galaxy? You're going to settings and then you have it here. Walk screen security and then screen lock type. You can choose fingerprints and then some instructions. What to do with your fingerprint. And yeah, so let's go on. We'll set uh, just pin number because it's required. And now we can start. So place finger on home key, lift it off, then repeat. Move finger upwards, downwards, slightly between attempts. So let's start. Uh, let's use some. Okay, nothing unusual here. Okay. That was probably kind of an error. Or at least some feedback. I'm not counting by the way, but... Okay. So you need to move it upwards, downwards, between the attempts. And you're pretty much there. Okay, cool. Now. Let's find out how easy it is to actually unlock the device with your finger. So close and then quite fast. Let's try 3 out of 3. Okay. Okay. 3 out of 4. Not bad. So let's find out what's going on here. Again, settings, not sure if you can see this, and then walk screen password, then password and fingerprints, add fingerprint. So the sensor is here. I personally think, as you probably already know, that this is the better place to do it because if you want to unlock your device, this is kind of hard. You need to use both hands, but if it's here, you just place your finger here. But that's strictly my opinion. So to add the finger to fingerprint, place your finger on the sensor, make sure the finger covers the inner edge of the sensor. So it's pretty much this. So let's start. I'm not moving it upwards or downwards or left or right, I'm just pressing it and removing it, and that's all I'm doing. As you can see. Oh, we are ready. Okay, done. So, let's find out how easy it is to unlock your device. I'm not sure if I... Of course, you need to set it. Sorry. So I have the fingerprint. But we need to add a security password first. Key fingerprint data. Yes, yes. Of course, you always need a backup form of authentication if you like. So, pretty much there. Again, again. Four out of four. Also, what we have here on the cheaper phone is. Mm, how to call it? You don't need to press power on button. You can just place your finger and that's it. It's powering on your device, turning on your screen, actually not your device, and unlocks it at the same time. Here, if you just put your finger, nope, it's not happening, you need to turn the screen on and then place your finger. So, two actions. I have to be honest, the Samsung is a bit faster 
so when you're here mm, okay nope actually it's not a bit faster this was my first impression so let's do it again not much mm, pretty much the same speed of unlocking but as I said this is a really cool feature that you just place your finger here and the device is on and unlocked so no a big, not a big difference here, even though this device is three times the cost of this one. Still pretty good security, works pretty fast and it's pretty easy to set. And I think that this is a draw. We can't tell which one is better. We only know which one is cheaper. So for more comparisons, stay tuned and see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.